Make sure you pause the video first and try this on your own before listening on. So we're trying to estimate the value of 1 divided by 4.002. And you'll notice that we can think of this quantity in graphical terms. If we had the equation y equals 1 over x, then really what we're trying to estimate is the y coordinate when we plug 4.002 in for the x value. So this suggests that examining the problem graphically will be useful to us. So let's go ahead and sketch a graph of this function y equals 1 over x. So here we have a rather crude sketch of the graph y equals 1 over x. Please notice that this is certainly not drawn to scale. The scale has been exaggerated to illustrate our points as we go through the problem. So we've marked two locations on the x-axis. We have a 4 and then 4.002. We'll notice that if we plugged 4 into the equation, we would have y equals 1 over 4. So that would mean that we would have a point on the curve located right here whose x-coordinate is 4 and whose y-coordinate is 1 fourth. Next, you'll notice that there is a point that we can color in red located right here. Now, the x-coordinate of that point would be 4.002, and the y-coordinate is exactly what we're trying to estimate in this problem. We don't know the y-coordinate. We know that that would be 1 over 4.002, but the actual value is what we're trying to estimate. And it turns out that it's going to be useful instead of plugging 4.002 into the original function, we're going to plug 4.002 into the tangent line equation. So to understand that, let's draw a tangent line at the point 4 comma 1 fourth, that is at the black colored point. So we'll have this tangent line might look something like this. And the key to understanding this problem is to notice that the tangent line crosses this vertical dotted red line right here. So this point would lie on the tangent line. Notice the x-coordinate of that point is 4.002, and that point is on the tangent line. If you look over at the y-coordinate of that point on the tangent line, the y-coordinate of that point which is located right here, is extremely close to the y-coordinate that we are trying to estimate, the 1 divided by 4.002. So the idea here is that rather than trying to get this y-coordinate right here, we will settle for finding this y-coordinate, and that is sufficiently close to the one that we seek. It will be a sufficient estimate of the one that we seek. So again, the idea is to plug 4.002 not into the original equation, but into the tangent line equation. And we want the tangent line at this point right here. So remember, that point was 4 comma 1 fourth. Let's recall that the equation of a tangent line can be written in point-slope form. So it would be y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Now, this x-coordinate turns out to be the x1, so we already have that value. The y-coordinate of that point turns out to be y1. What we really need is the slope of the tangent line, symbolized by m. So the slope of the tangent line can be obtained by using the derivative. So we go back to our equation of our function, y equals 1 divided by x. We're going to clear out some space here to make room. Notice we can rewrite this as y equals x to the negative 1. And then to get the slope of any tangent line on this curve, we do the derivative. So we're going to have y prime equals, we'll use the power rule here. So we kind of pull this power down in front. We'll have negative 1, x, and then we subtract 1 from the exponent to make negative 2. Let's rewrite this so that it is in terms of positive exponents, so we'll have negative 1 over x squared. Now remember, the point whose tangent line we are seeking has an x-coordinate of 4. So you're going to plug 4 into this 
slope function into your derivative. And this turns out to be negative 1 over 16. So the final equation of our tangent line following the point slope form above is y minus 1 fourth equals our slope multiplied by x minus 4. So this is the equation of this tangent line that runs through the point 4 comma 1 fourth. Remember now we're going to plug in the x coordinate of 4.002. We're going to plug that in for x. By the way, your textbook, rather than using y, might use the notation L of x. It's just a special notation to indicate that we're using a tangent line to estimate our original quantity. So again, we're going to cap this off by plugging in 4.002 in for x. We'll plug it in for that x, as well as the x on this side of the equation. Simplify what's inside of the parentheses next. So we'll have 0 0.002. Now we'll take out our calculators and we'll multiply the negative 1 16th by the 0 0.002. fourth you do that and you get or you should get negative 0.000125 and then finally you're going to add one fourth to the other side if it helps you can add 0.25 that's equivalent of course and when you do that you can see that you get the following value. You get 0.249875. So this value right here, if you go back up to the graph, that's the y coordinate. 249875. That's the y coordinate of this point, which lies on the tangent line. Notice how close it is to the y coordinate that we actually seek. Remember we wanted 1 over 4.002. We will settle for this estimate because it's extremely close to the actual value, the actual y coordinate. So this is the linear approximation to 1 over 4.002. By the way, 1 divided by 4.002 has an actual value of 0.2498750666. Which, of course, is extremely close to our approximation. So this is the correct answer to the problem.